Saturday, 14th of August, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 14. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forevermore. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you all worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple and in the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, for it is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the harp, and play to him upon the psaltery and the lyre. Sing for him a new song. Sound the fanfare with all your skills upon the trumpet. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. The loving kindness of the Lord fills the whole earth. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the breath of his mouth all the heavenly hosts. He gathers up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin, and stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to pass. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the will of the nations to naught. He thrusts the designs of the peoples. But the Lord's will stands fast forever, and the designs of his heart from age to age. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord. Happy the people he has chosen to be his own. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the people in the world. From where he sits enthroned, he turns his gaze on all who dwell on the earth. He fashions all the hearts of them and understands all their works. There is no king that can be saved by a mighty army. A strong man is not delivered by his great strength. The horse is a vain hope for deliverance. For all its strength it cannot save. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait upon his love, to pluck their lives from death, and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our hearts rejoices in him, for in his holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have put our trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of Judges, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Once Samson went to Gaza, where he saw a prostitute, and went in to her. The Gazites were told, Samson has come here. So they circled around and lay in wait of him all night at the city gate. They kept quiet all night thinking, let us wait until the light of the morning 
then we will kill him. But Samson lay only until midnight. Then at midnight he rose up, took hold of the doors to the city gate, and the two posts pulled them together, bar and all, put them on his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that is in the front of Hebron. After this, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The lords of the Philistines came to her and said to her, Coax him and find out what makes his strength so great and how we may overpower him so that we may bind him in order to subdue him. And we will each give you eleven hundred pieces of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me what makes your strength so great and how you could be bound so that one could subdue you. Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings that had not dried out, and she bound him with them. While men were laying in wait in an inner chamber, she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he snapped the bowstrings as a strand of fiber snaps when it touches the fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Delilah said to Samson, You have mocked me and told me lies. Please tell me how you could be bound. He said to her, If they bind me with new ropes that have not been used, then I shall become weak and be like anyone else. So Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. The men lying in wait were in an inner chamber, but he snapped the ropes off his arms like a thread. Then Delilah said to Samson, Until now you have mocked me and told me lies. Tell me how you could be bound. He said to her, If you weave the seven locks of my head with the web and make it tight with the pin, then I shall become weak and be like anyone else. So while he slept, Delilah took the seven locks of his head and wove them into the web and made them tight with the pin. Then she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he awoke from his sleep and pulled away the pin, the loom and the web. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones. And lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
A reading from the word of the Lord written in the Gospel according to John. Chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there's a pool called in Hebrew Bet Zeta, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that was a Sabbath day. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. Is it not lawful for you to carry your mat? But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus said to them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but he was also calling God his own father thereby making himself equal to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and it. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Proper 14 Grant to us, Lord, we pray, the spirit to think and to do always those things that are right, that we, who cannot exist without you, may, by you, be enabled to live according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colleague for Saturdays. O oh God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for our homes and families. Heavenly Father, whose son, Jesus Christ, was born of a woman, sanctified childhood, and shared the life of an earthly home. Bless the homes and families of our nation. Give to parents a true sense of responsibility in the care and training of their children, that our boys and girls may grow up in the fear of your name and in fellowship of your church for the glory of Christ our Lord. Amen. The Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all the joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.